Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A M I, Keshwani. We are here because we want to improve our math skill. Today is our lesson number 187 in the series of basic math, and today we'll have our seventh lesson, seventh video on the topic of probability. Originally, I had planned to do 10, 10 videos on the topic of probability, hence the tag here, 7 of 10, but I've changed my mind, instead of 10, we're going to have 5 more, so this is the 7th one, in the series of 15 of them, okay, so here's the problem, it's already on the blackboard, let's take a look at it, number 7, in the series of 15, we are told that a box contains, one, a box contains 80 balls, box contains 80 balls, they are numbered 1 through 80, each, each ball is numbered, is, is, is given a distinct number, 1 through 80, no numbers are repeated, even though it doesn't say that, I'm telling you, no numbers are repeated, they are numbered 1 through 80, 80 balls, we have to select 3 balls, 3 balls are selected at random, with replacement, it is important that we understand that, they are, they are, they are picked, 3 of them are picked, with replacement, in other, in other words, we pick one ball at random, we note, we make a note of what number it is on the ball, we jot it down, we write it down, and we put the ball back in the back, so that there are 80 balls each time when you draw a ball. Are you with me so far in this story? Very good. Three balls are selected at random with replacement. The question is very simple, very straightforward. What we are being asked is, what are the odds that the sum, it has to be the sum, that the sum of the three numbers, is going to be an even quantity. The three numbers that we picked at random, three balls that we picked at random with replacement, what are the odds that when we take the sum of those three numbers, the sum turns out to be even. I'm going to get out of your way now. I want you to have the unobstructed view of the problem itself, the blackboard itself. Then I want you to pause the video, do the problem yourself. Once you have done so, then you compare your work against the work that you and I will do together in a few seconds time, as we always do. I'll give you five seconds for you to be able to pause and then pause the video. Here we go. Alright then. We want we want sum to be even. We want the sum. We want the sum to be even. Three numbers we're gonna pick and we want sum to be even. You already have the problem. I'm going to erase the problem so that we can have the room. Remember, we want sum to be even. We're going to pick three numbers, uh, three balls with replacement. So here we go. We want the sum to be even. There are only two ways. There are only two ways where the sum are going to be when the sum of the three numbers are going to be even. One is that. One scenario is when all three numbers are even. All three numbers are even because even plus even plus even is going to be even. That's one scenario. Or another scenario is that we have two odds, two odds plus one even. Two odds and one even. Odd number we're going to represent with letter D. Two odds, for example, we can have odd plus odd plus even, for example, 3 plus 5 is 8, 8 plus 4 is 12, that's going to give us an even number, or two odds, so, or we can have, so we can pick an odd number on the first row, make a note of it, put it back in the back, pick a second ball, we can have an odd on the second row, put it back, and we have an even number on the third row, that's one possibility, or we can even have an even number on the first row, odd on the second row, and another odd number on the third row, or finally, we can have the even number in the middle, that's it, this is it. These are the only possibilities where we will have the sum to be, sum of these three numbers to be even. Put, to, put, put in two broad category. One category is that they are all even. Another category is that two of them are odd. Two of them are odd and one is even, as you can see here. Let's figure out the probability of one of these events. We have four of them. Let's figure out the probability of one of these events. Let's, let's pick this for example. So what are the odds that we pick? We pick, what are the odds, what is the probability, okay, don't get confused in the language, what are the odds, what, are the, what is the probability that the first number is odd, the second number is even, and the third number is odd. 
be looking at this with odd, even and odd. What are the odds? Well, before we can answer that question, we have to understand here that the scenario that we're describing here, just by looking at it, logic tells us that these are independent events. The odds of picking a given number in a given draw has absolutely nothing to do with what happened in the previous draw or what is going to happen in the next draw. Because why? Because we are putting the ball back in the bag. After we pick a ball, we take a, make a note of the number and we put it back in the bag. Each time there are 80 balls, the probability of one event happening has absolutely nothing to do with another event happening. Therefore, these events are called independent. These are independent events. These are independent events. We had a great discussion about it on day number 181. When the events are independent, when the events are independent, it's very straightforward. We just take the probability of each of these events and we multiply them. What is the odds of getting, what, what are the, I keep saying what are the odds of getting an odd number and if you find that language confusing then translate that to yourself as what is the probability that we will get an odd number. What is the probability that we will get an odd number? We have 80 of them all together. There are 80 numbers. 80 numbers. 1 through 8. 1 or 1 through 80. 1 through 80. Obviously, one can clearly see there that if there are 80 numbers 1 through 80, for example, if we had 10 numbers 1 through 10, we can clearly see that half of them are going to be odd numbers, half of them are going to be even numbers. 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, and 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10. I don't know why I'm being so silly. You can see it immediately that if there are 80 numbers, half of them are odd, half of them are even. So to the odds of picking, the probability of picking an odd number or an even number in a given draw is 50%. That's all it is because half the numbers in the bag are odd numbers, half of them are even numbers. That's all. So the odds of picking, the probability of picking an, an odd number times the probability of picking an even number times the probability of picking other odd numbers, it doesn't matter what sequence they go in because all of these probabilities are all equal. They're, they're half times half times half. The odds of picking any one of these numbers is 50%. Therefore, the probability of such a sequence R, even R, is simply one eighth. It's one eighth. Probability of this sequence, probability of this sequence, is also one eighth. Probability of this sequence is also one eighth. They're all one eighth. They're all one eighth. Probability of this sequence that we just did is one eighth. They're all one eighth. And finally, the probability of picking three numbers that happen to be all even probability of picking three numbers that happen to be all even is simply the probability of an even number, probability of an even number, another even number, another even number is same as probability of picking an even number in the first draw, probability of picking an even number in the second draw, prob probability of picking an even number in the third draw, and we multiply them. As you can clearly see, it's the same thing. It's just half times half times half. Nothing different. Half times half times half is one eighth. So they are all one eighth. That's it. We're done. And there are four such possibilities. There are four such possibilities where the sum happens to be, a, where the sum of these three number happens to be an even number. This has one eighth chance. 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 Therefore, the probability of getting the sum to be even, sum to be even, is simply four times one eighth or one half. Four times one eighth or one half. Hence, hence it is 50% chance. Before we close the video and before I completely forget about it, I want, you to, I, want, I want to point out two things here. First thing you should understand is that had they asked the exact same problem, exact same setup, if they ask us what's the, what's, the, what's the probability that the sum of these three numbers happens to be an odd number, odd number, the answer would still be the same. It would be 50%. The sum, the probability, probability of sum to be sum to be even is same as the probability of sum to be R. There is no difference. It's 50%, 50%, same thing. There is no difference here. Second thing you have, you have to understand here, the second thing I want to point out to you before, before I completely forget it and we close the video is that, second thing we need to understand is that the number of balls that are given in the bag plays absolutely no role. Plays absolutely no role provided that we have the same number of even numbers and same number of odd numbers. So if, as long as they are numbered 1 through whatever it is, whether it's one through, whether they are 1 through 20 or 1 through 80 or 1 through 800 or 1 through 80,000, it would not have changed anything. Our work would have been exactly the same. 
number of balls plays no role as long as we are able to ascertain that there are same number of even even balls as as there are the number of odd balls. As long as the number of even balls is same as the number of odd balls, the total number plays no role. That's all it is. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Bye now.